Hello everyone, welcome to this English YouTube channel. I'm Alexandro Gonzalez, who is the creator of this YouTube channel, uh, which you are watching right now, and it's called Yes, You Can. And first of all, I'd like to ask you to subscribe at this YouTube channel to follow me to uh, uh, level your English. And maybe you can uh, find some ways to practice English with me. I have been posted some English uh, links uh, to my Facebook. I'd like to ask you to subscribe it and I will share it here with you uh, in some minutes. Page. Of course, I will leave the link below on this comment where, uh, on the description of this English YouTube video. Okay. Here, just to practice English again with you. And at the same time, maybe we can learn some new information about our work. Okay, so today I will read, I will start by reading an article for you. This article is, of course, I have I received that English book when I was studying English with a privacy teacher. Uh, and I have been learning with this uh, vocabularies and these books for a while, uh, as probably you already know me, and I already share the information here. I have been studying English for four years, almost four years right now, and I started with private. I have been at least two years that I started to uh, study with some privacy teachers, but I started, I begin everything on my English by myself. So I have been, feeling so proud about my English level right now. As you can see, I'm the, I have the ability to communicate. I have the skills to communicate with you here. I know it's not perfect yet, but that's not the main point here. The main point is to get confidence and to be able to communicate your message for others in English, for your listening in English. In English. And that's what we are here to do, it, okay? So if you are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and to follow my Facebook page, okay? So second, let's jump up to our English studies for today. I will, I will start with these stories. Let me share with you here just a second. I would like to share these stories here with you. And maybe you already know some stories about that. But if you don't know anything about this, I will, I'm sure that you will learn so many information about this chapter, okay? The chapter today is the chapter six, and it's called the Panama Canal. Have you ever heard about this canal, which is called Panama Canal? And if you know, if you don't know anything about that, maybe you should um, be uploaded, maybe you should be updated with your uh, history uh, knowledge, because this is one of the famous canal uh, from all over the world. Okay, this canal changed how they transport, how they the ships can uh, walk around all over the world. Okay, so let's start by reading. I will start by reading, and after that, I can start and uh, make a conversation with you about what we can learn, what we could learn about this English paragraph or this English story. Okay, so let's start reading right now. Panama Canal. Let's talk about the Panama Canal. When Columbus discovered America, he thought that he had reached the forest, either China or India. That is why the original inhabitants of North and South America are called Indian to this day. It was only after two or three years of exploring that the Spanish finally accepted the fact that the two American continents form a continuous barrier to the forest. In 1513, Vasco Nunes de Balboa climbed a hill at a place called the Darien in the Panama and noted how easy it would be to make a canal joining the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It proved to be not so easy as it looked, and many attempts were made by the both French and American companies to build the canal. It was only 1914 when Woodrow Wilson was president of the United States that the canal was completed 400 years after the first man had conceived the plan 
to build the canal at Panama. This finished the reading part. So, have you ever heard this story before? Let me know in the comments below. And did you note how I read this article? Uh, have, you, have you found some mistakes which I made here? If you do, let me know in the comments below too. Let's comment, let's try, help me uh, to improve my reading skills. But let me help you right now to translate some words in English. I don't know if you uh, already know, I, I don't know if you can understand me right now, but if you do, let me help you with some translation here. The first part, let's talk about the Panama Canal. This phrase, or this phrase here, the first phrase, is showing that we will discuss about the Panama Canal. Let's talk about the Panama Canal. When Columbus discovered America, he thought that he had reached the forest in China or India. So this is a famous story when the Columbus were thinking, was thought that, was thinking that he was at the middle of, or the, as far as, as far as possible, as far as possible, uh, between China or India, he thought that he it was, but he discovered discovered America. He discovered that he was at the America continent at that time. But that's not the, the top here, and that is why the religion and inhabitants of North and South America are called Indian to this day. Did you know that before? So that's why they are called Indian to this day and to these days. Okay, because. They thought that they, because Columbus thought that he was at the between at some place between China or India, and that's why they call they call the American Indian to these days. It was only after two or three years of exploring that Spanish. Let me see if there's another word, another different word uh, that we can learn here. Barrier, a formal they form a continuous barrier to the forest. Did you know what this phrase means? So, barrier. Barrier means that we have something that don't allow us to transport there, don't allow us to pass through this place. So, we needed to uh, broke down these barriers, we needed to pass through this place, but unfortunately, it's not possible because there is a barrier between that and there and here. Okay. And in 1513, have you ever heard? How can you pronunciate these words? Have you ever heard about that? You can pronounce these words. Uh, this uh, the year. How can you pronounce the years in English? So you can say 1,513 years, or you can say just uh, 1,513 years, or you can say 1513. Have you did you notice that I said this when I was reading? I said 1513. It's the same, and it's so easy or it easier to read on this way. So try it if you don't do it yet. Um, climb it, which means uh, that someone are trying to go up or to overcome something. Okay. To pass through another way, you needed to go up and after that go down. So that's it, guys. I just would like to read some stories with you here. And meanwhile, practice my speaking skills. And I did. After I'm finishing, after I finish this English, you, this English video, this English class with you, I will practice my speaking skills with some friends of mine. Uh, my friends, which he, I have been practicing more right now, it's from China. Her name is Alice. Alice has been developed her English so much, and that's very, uh, how can I say? It's that's very interesting and very helpful to practice my speaking skills with her because his, uh, she has a great English vocabulary. She has a great pronunciation and when we pass more time with this person with this type of person our english start to become similar of, uh, of their of their english so that's why i really encourage you to find someone to find someone which have a good english speaking or a good vocabulary or have some part some skills that you would like to improve at your own skills it will be easier for you to get or to achieve your goals okay so that's all for today, guys. I really hope 
that you have learned so many uh, vocabularies today. And I hope you follow me and I hope you join to my English YouTube channel and to my Facebook page. I will leave the link on the comment below on the description of this English YouTube video. And I hope see you soon in my next English video here on this YouTube channel because yes, you can learn English by yourself. Thanks so much. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.